I call it Challenge Northeast Grand Prix, Lime Rock Park. Uh, Co-drivers of the number 77 brand, Brian Herter Autosport, uh, Hyundai Veloster and TCR, Michael Lewis and Taylor Hagler. This is Taylor's first win uh, in the series, uh, first win in the Ipsa Michelin Pilot Challenge for a woman since Sheena Monk won last year at Road America. Uh, sixth win in Michelin Pilot Challenge for Michael and they, the victory enables them to extend their lead in the TCR championship standing. So, uh, congratulations, Taylor, what you started us off, as I mentioned, first win, big win for you, just uh, just talk about it. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's honestly been really great. Brian Hurdle, of course, has been wonderful. The Hyundai Veloster in TCR has been an amazing car to drive. Um, Michael has been the co-driver of all co-drivers, obviously to help me get this first win, um, the first win in my professional career, not just in TCR, but any professional career at all. So it's been um, it's been a ride so far. It's been a long time coming. I feel like we've worked really hard for this, and I think it's finally time we deserve it. And you know, extending the lead on the championship is just an added bonus. So I'm really happy. Thanks, Taylor. Um, Michael, I want to slide over to you. Two things. One, talk about uh, that run to the checkered flag. It looked like uh, it was uh, it was pretty uh, pretty exciting there, or all the way to the all the way to the finish. Any concerns on that? And then maybe on top of that, you know, maybe some validation for you guys to get the win here, and how much that helps you as we talk about the championship, also. Yeah, for sure. Uh, like all great questions. And how about that drive from Taylor? I mean. Uh, she was up to like third place from wherever we started, seventh or sixth, and uh, was fast, kept her nose clean, and then handed me the car uh, like like a true pro. So that's that's what you want, you know. Both drivers up at the front all the time. It makes all, everyone's lives a little bit easier. Um, so you know, she got up there. We had a really great pit stop that uh, kind of kept me up front and uh, enabled me to, to do those crazy moves at the end. We we had a really good strategy to have uh, really good tires on the car the whole time, um, which enabled me to attack and. Um, yeah, there was a lot of contacts. I didn't really want that to happen. I was just trying to play it as cool as possible, but it's pretty funny. Even though you're trying to like just back yourself up and let the race happen in front of you, you just somehow get shoved into all the craziness. And at that point, you just have to just kind of smash your way through a little bit, unfortunately. And uh, luckily, this car is pretty tough. And you know, every contact you made was trying to be side to side. And um, it was it was a mega car to drive. I mean, she kept the rear tires really well for me to, I guess, kind of like double stance. So um, actually, I don't know, but. I can't really remember the, the exact tire plan, but it was a great run. And yeah, like you said, the championship is now uh, really good, but we're just focusing on doing the best we can and what we can do. Thanks, Michael. Uh, we'll go back to uh, any questions in the room. If anybody has questions in the room, raise your hand. I'll get the mic to you. We do have one on the Zoom from Jeff Olson, so go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm curious about, you mentioned uh, consistency. And in terms of the championship, that's really kind of the point, is being consistent all the way through. If you, if you can, can talk a little bit about that consistency throughout the course of this race. Yeah, I mean, I, I just try and run consistent lap times. I don't want to fall too far back. And I just try and keep my nose clean so I can bring the car to Michael in one piece and in a good position. And I think the key to being in a good position, especially in races like this where it's hot and it's a smaller track, is consistent lap times and consistently hitting your marks for each corner, break points throttle points, all of that, and that just really helps with that. And then obviously, the more consistent you are during the race, the more consistent all of your podiums and placings are gonna be, and then that helps win the championship. Uh, yeah, Taylor nailed it, and uh, the only thing I'll add is as a driver, you just have to keep your emotions in check, and though you, you may want to uh, block somebody really aggressively or dive inside somebody, you kind of have to be like, hey, what part of the race is, it, race is this, and is this worth it? And usually the answer is no. <laughs> So you just kind of wait until the last lap you know, to make those crazy moves if you have to. So I think as a driver, motions, you just try to keep you in check as best you can. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, Jeff. Got another question here? You know, Michael, the 17 on a couple of those restarts made jumps from like fifth or fourth all the way to first, so including the last restart. Were you confident that you still had enough to, to gather them back and, and, and retake the lead? Yeah, the 17 Audi was really strong today, and. Uh, the, you know, the driving Mikey Taylor made some really good moves. I, I just made a bad move on that last restart, got freight train, so that was on me. But yeah, I knew there was enough time left in the race to, to get back up there. Um, I knew I had good tires, really good rotating cars. So yeah, I was confident and um, I just tried to be patient. And honestly, I wasn't, when I went back to like fifth, I wasn't like, oh, I have to win. I was like, let me just try to get one car. 
and then I got one car, and then somebody made a mistake, got another one. You know, it was more of a just chip, chipping away at it mentality. Thanks, Chet. Did you have another one? I see your hand still up. No, I'm done. Sorry. Okay. I forgot to roll my no worries. Thank you. Any other questions in the room? Come on up, Phil. Hi. Um, nice to see you again, Michael. Congrats, Taylor. Um, first off, uh, late in the race, you had, you had the uh, duel with Tim Lewis Jr. in the Alpha. Um, can you describe where your uh, Honda was better than his, for one? And the other is, uh, what was going on with the contact at, uh, in the last five minutes with uh, Steven Simpson? Thanks. Um, our our Veloster and the TCR is really good on, on tire wear, so I was just um, really good in the turns. The Alpha was okay in the turns, but like I noticed once I had some clean air, like I wasn't even really trying and I could just really hustle the corner and have a really good rotating car and light on its feet and just pull away and then he would you know creep back on, up on the straight but once I knew I was good in the turns I, I knew I could defend well and uh, the contact honestly I made a mistake in the one I I'll break myself but there was a gap and I'm like I'm going to crash into somebody so I might as well just do it door to door so I'm sorry to Steven on that and then he kind of figured it out in the exit so I wasn't intending to hit him to be honest I just uh, broke pretty late to try to fill the gap but then he checked up and I was like I have to go somewhere right and better to have side by side contact. I think we're all set so uh, we'll let you go get the celebration started congratulations we'll see you at the next race.